Shalom, y'all and Rob, she brought my family, Cindy, I'm Melanie Vibes, and we are back, back with another, another video. video. Yeah, let's go. Now let's go. Sweet face, you got your hater blockers on. Huh? Tell me why they hate me. Why they hate me. Look, 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 look. They <laughs> do. All right, y'all. Um, so I'll pray to the most high for another day to be blameless in his sight for real. So we are right now heading back to the um, to the to the RV so that I have to get some clothes y'all and they already got clothes my king is getting their clothes king is also having some clothes in the washing machine so we're washing um so we just gotta get some stuff situated y'all we are going to a hotel room so we will be we found the hotel room that we can pay for about a week so we're gonna just hop into a hotel um because the RV literally like I will walk in there with y'all with the vlog but it literally it when, when king ask the tell them what you um what you said when you walked in there what question did you ask Heater on? Yes, he was like it's the heater on. Like it literally hot. Like it feels better outside than it does inside the RV. Like it literally feels like hot air is blowing. And now for an update, the microwave has have actually shorted out on us. Like for whatever reason, like the the, electri the electrical system in the RV just seems to be messed up at this point time. And um, King is getting out to go meet a technician real quick. So it's actually like shorting out certain things that is plugged up so now we can no longer plug up anything in the living room we can no longer plug up anything in my baby's rooms so the the fans they were home the fans were blowing and then the fans they were like i'm like the fans cut off so they're trying to plug stuff up they can't plug stuff up only from that first wall when you first walk in those plugs on that wall on back to our room are the only plugs that work at this point in time so um Praise the most high, y'all. We just trying to, you know, get stuff done. How y'all feeling? Lock babies. Good. Good. I'll pray to the most high. Great. <laughs> I'm getting out the car. It literally feels like the heater is on. Like, I wish yeah, I could show so y'all the heat. That's just a, uh, that's, the technician that's a, and my team is in. Oh, really? The water, baby. To make you uh, feel like you need to get it done. You, know, you think so? You <laughs> Absolutely. This is yeah. 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 They used to have yeah, yeah. and that box is right, yeah. the box is below to that black the black thing to move all that crap out of the way and uh I check ain't nothing wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so hot in here, like y'all see what I'm wearing. It is blinking, it's it wasn't blinking. Like take it off. Like Man, it's, you know, it's hot. Yeah. He said they cut the air off to make us unwired to make you uncomfortable, so that you it said so to you, make you think like, oh, oh it's so hot. Oh, try it and give it back so, to him. So, so, my, my artist say, you know, we down south. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 kind. I can't do. So, um, y'all, and then when we leave, I forgot to. I have to take my plans so because crackers? they so are so. So, <laughs> this is the breaker box, y'all. This is my baby's room. This is the breaker box right here. So we was flipping them or whatever off and then back on. My king changed all the fuses. These are the fuses. So your sister know a little sun sun. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she know a little sun sun. Not too much. Thermostat, so as you can see, it's off. It's not on like the electricity. It's like, I don't know if it's messed up. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what the hell going on. Beyond you. It's the microwave. Y'all see it's no nothing. Short it out. Um, and we tried to, I guess, flip the breaker. It shorted this air conditioner out, which kind of already didn't really blow so good, but it blew enough to where we was, you know, we was cold. My children was comfortable. Like, we were good. It wasn't, like, a major issue. This one in the front, this air conditioner blew great. Those vents, the air conditioner blew great. That air conditioner shorted out that air conditioner. So, that's what we're saying. But, you know, we're keeping faith in the most high. Um, and just, you know, just not giving in to any, like, spirits. I gotta get out of here, y'all. I'm sorry. It's just that hot. I gotta get out of here. These were the air conditioners. These little small air conditioners, y'all, that we had got from Home Depot. So, when I do respect, they suck. They suck. They pure suck. Like, if your hand, like, if this is the air conditioner, let me turn to the side, right there. That's how much air you can feel if this is the air conditioner and you right here. Once you get past this point, you can't feel anything. It wasn't doing anything for us. Um, so, we're actually taking those back. So my, that's why my king got them right there. One of them actually broke. So we can't take it back. But we are going to take back the ones that we can. And get the funds that we can get for those back. Because we just not in the business. That feels so good walking outside. <laughs> we not in the business of wasting money. Our babies are in the van, y'all. And they the air is on in there. So they in there chilling. I see them through the window. They playing. 
they got their glasses on that they got um, earlier today. So I praise this be to the Most High. Um, we're still in good spirits. Um, we're still trusting in the Most High. You know, it's never a reason to just doubt or have any regrets because that spirit was coming upon us at one point. Like, oh, we regret. Like, oh, we should have did this, should have did that. We should have stayed in this state. We should have did whatever. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's no reason to feel like that because the most high brought us here for a reason we like it here we love it here like it's still positive vibes it's still positive energy like vibrations are still high do we have moments where our vibrations are lower do we have moments where we are just like our flesh is weak yes we do kind we very much so do um but our spirits are getting stronger throughout this process and faith in the most high is really real so so we may have some things coming for y'all some updates coming um, we're not applying too much pressure yeah. like today today we're gonna get a hotel you know today we're gonna try our best yeah. to just make sure our children are straight um, and that they're comfortable and they don't have to spend another night because we thought last night because they, they already we spent two nights in here since this is going on we assumed that last night would be good because after the first night you know we like no our children are not gonna know you know what I mean no but last night we got those air conditioners thinking that oh okay we're gonna these air conditioners are gonna be great we're gonna get four of them we're gonna get two for the living room one for the living room one for our room we're gonna be good air conditioners wasn't worth the box cardboard box they wrapped up in so it's kind of like okay that put us in a situation with another night because at some point in time home depot closes we can't just go back to the store you know what i mean so we gotta thug it out either we're gonna leave the room thug it out some of the children was already asleep whatever so we just plugged up the fans back in there and they just, we just thugged it out, but we ain't trying to thug it out now another night. I'm going to be real with y'all, you know. My children are very humble. I love them. You know, I, lo I really like, I love them anyway, but I really like that about their personality. Um, but they are used to a certain quality of life, um, and we intend to provide that and more for them. So, and I keep referring to them because I don't really feel like it's about me. Like, yes, I'm uncomfortable. Yes, I want this situation to be over with, but I have the understanding that the Most High is doing this for a reason. I have understanding that my spirit is getting stronger. King has understanding. Yes, like I said, our, our flesh keeps in. Yes, we do get frustrated. You know, our flesh gets weak. But ultimately, my children, our, our babies, like they are top priority first and foremost before my own feelings or even King. Like he will say the same thing. Like, And my way, how I work is when my King is uncomfortable, my babies are uncomfortable, I feel like I go into you know fight or flight you know what i mean and we fought it for two days and now we got a flight you know what i mean and just try to get it done as quickly as possible so Pray so y'all they are up there um they are up there um on the top of the roof we had another technician come out for a second opinion that um is trying to help us out you know because again the first technician told us 1600 a piece um we do have our family from tennessee the brothers on box they've been helping us out over messages as well and um sis's husband's um his name is zay he knows a whole lot so we've been getting counsel and even after talking to him we felt like you know we could kind of go about this in a cheaper way like maybe it doesn't have to take all that and then maybe we don't have to it won't take as long and our insurance company is you know covering everything but I mean, from what they're saying now, you know what I mean? Like at this point, I have to send pictures. I took pictures of the VIN number, all of that stuff, um, which is right there, that little yellow tag on the door right there. I, um, just trying to get everything situated, y'all. Y'all see those cuts in the top of the awning? So those have been there since we got it, but it still works. But anyway, um, we're just trying to, the guy basically was telling us that the first guy was trying to get money out of us and he was like a scam artist unhooked our air conditioner and told us that it shorted out so we just finding that out now y'all so at this point y'all just pray for us the most high must have sent these guys here so my king is getting the information right now babies are still in the car um i'm standing out here just vlogging and praying to the most high okay y'all so one of the guys is telling my king that we need some he needs some caulking work done to the top of the rv and we did have a leak in the living room so he's showing him right now and my king is more than likely going to do that himself because he is a carpenter he's just not an electrician and he don't like doing electrical stuff y'all but the caulking he will do so they still up there and just getting some things done so praise the most high you know hopefully like 
we won't run into any further issues and maybe our plans can change back and you know we, we don't have to you know go a different route as far as RV living so let's see what the most I have in store for us okay y'all so y'all see I got stuff all over my bed here but um so the RV basically what happened is y'all hear that what's that what's that baby what's that plan the AC. that's the AC <laughs> I'll pray to the most high and son, the air is back working in the RV, y'all. I almost want to call it a false alarm. What you say? Do you call it a full false alarm? Because, I mean, we did go through it. I didn't say a false alarm, but we can't say that too, though. Yeah, because we think it is demolished. Like, we're being told one thing, and it's really something different. So, we were told, y'all already know what we were told. It, it was about, yeah, somebody, he basically, so his whole thing in Florida that we didn't know about with mobile techs coming out to the RVs it'd be something small that need to be fixed but they go up there and unhook the air and that's and make it seem like it's shorted out and get you to pay like thousands of dollars so that's basically what happens to us y'all like legit so it was a piece do you see how the piece baby well, I might have it in my drawer somewhere <laughs> yeah this is days later this is some days later. Um, it was like a small little piece about that big, huh, babe? About that big? Yeah, no more than $16. If, if that, yeah, a little yellow piece. So about crazy, $16 you know. <laughs> needed to be replaced. And it's I can't stop smiling because the most high is just amazing. You know what I'm saying? But let me see if I can click this. Hold on. Can I click? Okay, yeah, I can click it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Shout out to King because he just hooks spaghettis and um garlic bread. I'll pray some outside. That's what everybody in there eating. That's why y'all here. They they eat. But kind of, I was like, this is the best time for me to like end this vlog right now. But um con, y'all, like it's crazy because we really did go through that, but that's really what happened. And we ended up finding another another guy that was um cool with the lady who actually is um over the RV park. She was like, I want to have him come do like a second, a second um, opinion. I want mm -hmm. to get a second opinion. She kept saying that. Mm -hmm. I want to try to get a second opinion. I want to try to get a second opinion. She kept saying, we was like, okay. You know, we like, okay, for somebody to come tell us the same thing, right? That's what we think. Yeah, thinking. But the man came, he and his homeboy went up there. He called me, me at work telling me like, hey, I guarantee you that ain't the, what it is. And I'm like, now you sure? See, I've been doing it for five years, but I'm guaranteeing your AC is still good. I'm like, all right, when we'll meet me there when I get off, we're gonna see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was all the footage y'all saw was, that was the guy and my king. And his homie or whatever. And so, all of us feel y'all, the, the, we almost got scammed out of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Trying to get our RV straight, but Shout out to the Bullets and Box. Mm -hmm. Always, they was there for us, praying for, for sure. us, and helping us, giving us as much advice as they can from a mm -hmm. distance. Everybody that was praying for us, we appreciate y'all. Full time RV living can be tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be tough. You know, like we went into this life knowing that we was gonna have hurdles, but it's a difference knowing you're gonna have hurdles and actually starting to go through those things. Mm -hmm. And people trying to take advantage of you, and we looking at our situation like. They're trying to take advantage of us why <laughs> you know what i'm saying like why why you know what i mean and people are people are you know this world is wicked you know people are wicked people are evil you know we know not what we do we know not who we do it to you know so forgive them all before they know not what they do basically but i'll pray to the most high we still in our rv as y'all can see still in our rv team <laughs> um y'all say shout out to the vlog they eating. That's why y'all hit them, like I said. Um, we want to do some uh, some more videos, updates, and stuff for y'all. As far as just where we at right now, what's changed in our life since we moved. Um, the difference in our life in Florida is it was in Houston. We still have not got the suburban back yet. 
still <laughs> looking shaky as head. Like, you just <laughs> we still don't have a bourbon back yet, but we working on it. It's still, it's like actually in the process of getting fixed now. So we got the parts are already ordered and all of that. Mm -hmm. From if y'all been watching our videos and y'all know what happened to the bourbon on, the, on our way down here. Um, it stopped working in Alabama fast, you know, like pretty much, um, long story short, yeah. That's the fast story. Had to put it in the shop. Boom, bow, bam, couple flights. Then we <laughs> was here. Boom, bow, bam, a couple flights. And we was here. So, we we are happy because we got, like, a lot of it paid off. Um, paid down. So, we working on getting that down to zero balance. Because we, we owe, like, four, over $4,000 on it. That's what we owe the past since. Our principles. But, con, y'all. So, the Suburban will be here most high willing by the end of next month. Right. That's what we're toy, most high willing. Um the most high is great. <laughs> the most high is great. The R V is working, it's functioning. We still having a couple of hiccups with the microwave blew out. Microwave we just went and got some new fuses today. It don't work. The, the the microwave when he replaced the fuse in the microwave, it kept blowing. The fuses kept blowing. So we do have to get another microwave and then we'll see what's going on with that. Um Do we feel like we're getting fed up with R V living? Be real. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Um, we felt we was very frustrated at one point. We're like, you know what? We don't. We don't need this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because well, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know we we got to think about our children first and foremost and their quality of life. You know. But I pray this to the Most High. I pray this to the Most High. Um, we definitely will be saying more and explaining more, like when we do our um life update. Mm -hmm. Which I've been talking about and talking about and talking about, y'all. And if it be the most high, well, I want y'all to know I genuinely want to genuinely want to do this video. Um, I genuinely want to, you know, discuss literally where we are now, like the differences in our life now as it was when we was in Texas. Like I feel like it's a big difference to me. It's a huge difference. Like it's so many things that have changed, and I feel like talking to y'all. Like I want to get into it, but. Me and King agreed that we would do a video and we would sit down. So we gonna sit down. King, watch this. King, when we gonna sit down and do the life update, baby? Busy schedule, baby. I'm not sure yet. I know. Y'all, we be so busy. We don't be even, y'all. <laughs> I wanna tell y'all. We been so busy. We just been having a lot going on. You know, we have been real busy. Our schedule has changed a lot. We really wanna get into it. Most high willing, we'll be able to sit down, we'll be able to talk to y'all and really tell y'all like more of what's going on, the differences in our life now, and everything. I'm look, I'm a little tired now, but I got energy, I don't know, but I'm a little tired. But praise the most high, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, y'all. Most high is great. I like, I like our RV, y'all. Like, <laughs> I love our little RV. It ain't no little RV. It's RV big as I don't know what. And we really realize how big it is when we think about moving it. And we're going to have to move it soon. So that's another thing. Um, this spot right here we have until the end of October. So we're going to have to move it soon. So again, we're going to be doing some videos in regards to that. But the next video is going to be the life update, right? Because I was telling them how we're going to have to move the RV at the end of October. Cause yeah. we only had this spot right here until the end of October. So, no side willing, y'all. And the bird been coming back, and just us trying to maintain everything. Um, the frustrations of RV living, the uh, joys of RV living. A lot of pros and cons. Right, so. a lot of pros and cons. Raising five children here, homeschooling here. Okay. Our, the differences in our life now, like us trying to have more income, creating, uh -huh. um, a, what, what is it called? What I was telling my daddy earlier, um, increasing uh -huh. our, um, increasing our, uh, man, I said, forgot, ability uh -huh. to create more income. I Something forgot like what it was called, but, um, basically, we felt like we needed more income in household. So, it's ways that we went about doing that. So we're going to talk to y'all about that. I can't think about what it was I said. Yep, it was a great you. way that I said it. But maybe I'll think about it for the next video. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for real. 
Um, but yeah, just making our, just increasing our ability to be able to make more income. You know, children, our children are getting older. They're getting into more stuff. Ladybug want to take acting classes. Sweet faces in love with ballet. Ladybug likes ballet, but she's not in love with it. But she's still doing it. He's always in love with basketball. He also, King and me both want him to do boxing because of certain things that yeah. we noticed with him doing basketball. Mm -hmm. Um, little one still or not participating in any outside activities right now. Um, it's just been a lot. You know, it's been a lot, but. You know, things we want to really share with y'all and really sit down and talk to y'all about that. King is tired because he had a long day. He had to go to home before, Ooh. had to get fused, had to take the microwave out, had to da 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 All okay. that. You know what I'm saying? I rolled with him. I had things I had to go print out. I had to put like a whole packet together. I got things I'm working on outside of being uh -huh. on here. Um, I haven't even been on Facebook, social media lately. If you follow me, I haven't been posting like that. Um, and it's just been, literally, I haven't been really keeping in contact with anybody. Like that outside of my mom, my dad, and my sister, because I've just been so busy. I've been having so many, so much things going on. But we're living it in Florida. Just short oh, yeah. update: we are loving it here. Um, it's a blessing. We're grateful that the Most High allowed us to still be here. Oh yeah. Yeah, and still showing us favor. So I he's showing us favor. We've gone through so many things: spiritual, financial, emotionally, God. physical, all of that. You know what I mean? But the Most High is great. He's faithful. And one thing I can honestly say is. He'll never deliver us up unless he know that we can handle it. You know what I mean? So right. when he delivered us, li delivers us up to be tempted, we know spiritual weakness and high and low places might here not covered. But we know spiritual weakness and high and low places is covered. It's coming. And we're going to have to make sure that, you know, we, we are able forward. to gird ourselves right. up. Exactly. I'm trying to say it without quoting mm -hmm. the scripture because my head not covered. But I'll pray this to the most high, y'all, and his son. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, leave, leave a comment, comment down, down below. below. We uh, Wait. Press that. Notification bell, y'all can know when we upload more videos. You hear me saying, you know what it is, y'all know what it is. <laughs> y'all know what's going on. Make sure y'all press that bell, y'all. But sure. we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And Shalom. See y'all in the next video. Let's get it.